A semblance of structure has returned to the lives of these Ukrainian children as they left primary school today. They arrived in Greystones in County Wicklow four days ago. And they had a great day. They were a little bit nervous at first. So we had, a, in one of the classes, we had a pet. We had a hamster in one of the classes. So that kind of loosened things up for them and broke the ice. Things like that have helped. For their parents, relief that the first day of school is complete. I'm happy that my children are in a safe place. The teachers and this country is very friendly. My son was very happy when he came from school to home. I am very happy because we are together and all will be okay. Over 20 families have been housed here by the charity Tiglin, which was due to open a refuge here for women who are in recovery from addiction. Tiglin helps people coming from trauma. The women we deal with come from trauma and they just said the people coming from Ukraine are coming from trauma. So give them first. We, the community brought down all new bikes, new clothes, musical instruments and um, it's worked well. Yaroslav has benefited from the donation of a guitar. He arrived four days ago with his aunt and his cousins, his grandfather and grandmother. The rest of his family are in Ukraine. My mother, father and sister are left in Ternopol. Uh, it's first Ukraine. They are unsafe now, but in they Ukraine. They are safe. Yeah. Those who have the safety net of this community are thankful. One mother, Ghana, asked if she could express this to the Irish people. We are Ukrainian but uh, we are also responsible for our children. Uh, that's why we are in Ireland. Thank you for your help and support. Slava Ukraini! Slava! Alva Keneally, RTE News.